Okay, so here's the 11 again after some more tweaking. The uh, focus rectifier that I put in failed, so I've got another one in and I've got a much sharper picture now. On the test jig, there's no dynamic convergence, only static, so ignore the horrible detail at the outer edge of the screen. But the, uh, the color looks good, there's no horrible bleeding. The bars look very nice. And uh, here's just a short play of how the chassis works on my jig. You can see I've still got the lack of height problem there at the bottom. But uh, everything else is looking good. I think I'll take care of the vertical problem and uh, replace some capacitors in the sweep section just for reliability's sake. And then uh, put it in the cabinet and watch it on the actual 21 BFP or FBP, however you want to say it. Again, ignore the purity stain here. I've tried uh, demagnetizing this jig, but I can never get that spot clean. Okay, you get ready for bed. You and I are going to discuss this in private. Be there in a few minutes. Keith, will you do me a favor? Lock mom in a room. No, tell her in America you're innocent until proven guilty. The camera doesn't pick up the chroma as well as it should. Well, basically, he seems to need a but the colors are very accurate. There's very little bleed or drift. I mean, that, that's nothing new for Danny. And from what you tell me, there's nothing unusual about his behavior at home. No, it's just his usual, unusual behavior. Okay, the problem just may be that he's the middle child. So I'm going to hook up the generator. And I'll show you what the convergence looks like now that everything's nice and crisp. And you can see, before I had absolutely blurry lines, now they're pretty sharp. I also cleaned up the video t detail a little bit and got rid of most of the smear. The camera is really not focusing well, so, uh, and you can see there's no uh, dynamic convergence. So everything except the center of the screen looks kind of crummy. But I like it. It's looking good. It just keeps getting better. And he looked at me and he said, This is just using the DTV box off the air. There you go. 
Can't wait to see what it looks like on the real round tube. More to come soon.